हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज योर होस्ट स्वस्ति की जोशी एंड वेलकम टू द न्यूएस्ट एपिसोड ऑफ नो योर करियर बाई लेट्स ट्यू सो वी हैव सीन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मीम्स ऑन लाइन सेइंग दैट एन एक्चुअली अर्न्स अराउंड वन करोड़ रुपीज एवरी सिंगल मंथ बट इज दैट ट्रू और इज द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस द फैक्ट दैट देर आर ओनली फाइव हंड्रेड एक्चुअरीज इन इंडिया और इज द रीजन समथिंग एल्स वेल टू सॉल्व ऑल ऑफ योर मिथ्स एंड डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग दिस करियर फील्ड एंड टू टेल यू वॉट एन एक्चुअली इज वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस टूडे मोनल वकील who is one of the youngest actuaries in india so without any further ado let's get started monil thank you so much for joining us and the first thing that i would like to ask you is when we reached out to you for the podcast what were your initial thoughts like why did you choose to do this podcast so first of all thank you for having me here so when i started doing actuaries I had no one to guide me through the process. I mean, even though my friends, my relatives, or my family, no one had idea about actuaries. So now, since I have started this working in this field, studying into this field, I always think that I should be who who can help. If I can be of some help to someone, if he wants to pursue, if he she wants to pursue this course, then I will not step back. I will always step up to you know help the people who want to pursue this field. So. I was quite happy to do this podcast when you told me that you are going to ask me questions about how to go about actuaries. Right. So, may, like the main purpose of this podcast is to help guide students who want to get into various right. fields. So, a lot of time, what happens is uh, we don't have a lot of people to guide us, and right. these career counselling, you know, agencies right. they charge you a heck lot of money. Right. So, it's very nice of you and people like you, like the experts who are into this field. and into various fields who choose to do this podcast we are very thankful for them you know like thankful to them that they choose to come here and they choose to guide students uh, through their experience and through their knowledge so thank you so much that you joined us and uh, the first thing that i would like to ask you is what is an actuary an actuary is someone who works with risks managing risks so whatever business you do or whatever activity you carry on whether it's an ngo or something you need to uh, face a lot of risks either it can be business risk or legal risk or whatever risk they are so everything every risk has a financial impact so what we try to do is we try to identify whatever risks you are facing actually the businessman knows whatever risk they are facing then only they'll start the business but how can we minimize the financial impact of those risks is the is what we normally do as an actuary right so i don't think like even i've heard about this field before so uh, like not a lot of people know about this so how did you get into this so actually i have a ca background i mean my father my cousins everyone was doing ca so one of my dad's friend recommended him about this course so and also he told us that mathematics is something which you need to get into this field i mean you should be strong at mathematics and i was good at maths during school times and i used to love doing maths so this was one of the reasons another reason that normally is known to be you know people getting into actuaries is because of a good salary so that is also there but more over the most important reason is that mathematics is something which you should like and that's why my dad's friend recommended him this course and that's how i got into this field okay right. so mathematics is not something that i am very fond of <laughs> but how much does an actuary you know earn how much does an actuary earn <laughs> so earning is something it's a good salary so if you work as an actuary you get a good salary but not as much as it is hyped hyped by the people but yeah if you consider yourself clearing all the papers at the age of 25 which is a difficult task to do but it's achievable so uh, around around 20 25 lakhs per annum is something which you okay. can earn if you are done with all the papers at the age at this age and if you clear it later then the salary varies accordingly okay. so so have you completed all your papers so i am done with 12 of my papers out of 13 so yeah just last one pending right now okay so in a family full of cas you chose this field right. so are there any different types of uh, you know actuaries so there are there are types of actuaries so there is life actuary which most over looks for life insurance field there are general insurance actuaries 
there are retirement benefits employee benefit actuaries there are investment actuaries so broad broadly there are these four kinds of actuaries normally uh, again there are health insurance actuaries who work in the health insurance field okay. so yeah there are five types approximately yeah so um, you told us what an actuary does and what is the you know the salary range and everything but if someone wants to become an actuary what is the process of it so there are broadly two institutions there are many in the world but uh, normally people do it from two institutions mm-hmm. either it is institute of actuaries of india or it is institute and faculty of actuaries uk so if you want to pursue actuaries from uk you can start it after your 10th grade you can give give the papers as a non member first then either you can take membership or student membership of ifo or you can do it without taking membership there are two papers which you can give without taking membership and then you need to take the membership and then uh, go for other papers so yeah and if you want to do it from india you can do it after 12th grade you need to give a entrance exam actuarial common entrance test and if you clear that test then you become a student member of institute of actuaries of india and then you can start giving your papers okay so there is no cost of becoming a member right you just have to clear your entrance so no there is a cost for at least india i guess it's 2000 or 3000 you need to pay annual membership fee of 2000 but yes for institute and faculty of actuaries it is a bit costlier than india so because you have to pay in pounds so i don't exactly know the range of membership there i have not taken membership from ifoa so okay. but yeah membership is costlier but papers are approximately similar the fees of examinations are approximately similar so how difficult is you know uh, preparing for actually or like preparing for the entrance so entrance exam is a bit simpler than the future papers that you're going to give so for entrance exams as far as i remember when i cleared my entrance exams and even currently i feel there are four or five subjects one of which is statistics and mathematics one of them is logical reasoning one of them is english so it's one of them is data interpretation so if you you know even for cat or mba entrance exams there are similar topics which you need to cover so similar but at a lower level obviously because you give it after your 12th grade but statistics statistics and mathematics you need to be very strong at it and not your school mathematics also if you like the mathematics of 12th 11th and 12th grade then you are good to go for this and after your actuarial common entrance test there are four levels you can say one is core principles another is core applications and then rest will cover in some time so for core principles there are seven papers which you need to clear so some of them teach you about life insurance some about general insurance some about investments some about interest rates some about statistics and probabilities so they build build your base there so they teach you core of each and every field which is helpful for future work or future studies so you need to be very good at that so while studying this if you go through the material once so i would like to say that the material which the institute provides it's quite good quite comprehensive you may not require to you know do any coaching classes it is that good to another level so you can study it you can do self study for this so core principles are seven as i said you can give any paper at any time so it is not like our college exams where you need to you know mug up things and just vomit it in the exam you are once you have understood the concepts then only you will be able to clear the exams so it is totally application based nothing would be like you have to mug up and go so they even provide all the formulas in the exams you don't even need to mug up the formulas you don't even need to mug up anything it's just you understand and you apply and still it is that much difficult because our indian education is around mugging up things till college school and college so yeah that is dif- it is not difficult but it is quite challenging so you need to understand it from the base so for these core principles you your base get stronger for core applications you uh, you almost start your job after clearing core principles you get an internship first around one year then you you get a job at the same company or some other company where you work so these core application exams if you want to clear you need to have a work experience it's not mandatory as per the rules 
but if you don't don't work then you would it would be very very difficult for you to clear these papers so only core principles are such where you only study and give the exams after core principles you have to you know work as well that that's where you gain practical knowledge and that's afterwards where you can clear those papers so core applications is such where you have to work and you have to study and you you have to juggle between each of them both of them and manage your studies and work both so after you clear your core applications you can become an associate actually then there is specialized principal exams so till this 10 papers it is mandatory for all the students to appear all these exams so now it's the play, now it's the time after core applications where you can select your field of specialization so since i am working in a life insurance industry right now so i have chosen one life insurance paper then there are general insurance papers there are health insurance papers there are investment related papers there are employee benefits so you can choose any two of them where you want to specialize so you need to clear those two papers and the last paper is specialist advanced where you need to clear one paper so depending on your field of specialization you can clear it and then you can you know call yourself a fellow actually why did you choose the field of life insurance so when i used to study the base papers i mean the core principles one so the the paper which was related to life insurance it interested me more so then i i am also interested in the investment side but in india if you see right now it is not that developed those many jobs are not available in the investment side but with this changing scenario globally uh, there has been jobs available for investment actually as well but it is not that developed so maybe in future we'll consider that as well but yeah life insurance and general insurance are the most developed for the actuarial side so yeah i would say that interested me more so i selected that field right what i wanted to ask is that what are the kind of struggles that you faced while you know studying for this so while studying for this i would say during college time it was not that much of a struggle because you don't have anything to do apart from college of 4 to 5 hours so you get the whole day free to yourself so you can manage com- completing your studies with college and all but yeah once you start working it's hell of a difficult job to you know clear papers in the initial years because you have never tasted the corporate level flavor or so then you need to work you get response though in initial years you do not get that many responsibilities but yeah you have to learn a lot of things i mean you haven't worked anywhere so you need to manage your job then if your job is from 9 to 6 then you need you come home and then you have to study again you have to study in the morning and you normally you don't get leaves for all these exams i mean you don't get leaves at a stretch so if your exam is tomorrow on some date you won't get a weeks leave before the exam you need to take leaves once a week and you need to take these since last 2 3 months it's a consistent effort which you need to put so that's where i struggled the most while studying and you know doing the job and advanced level papers are quite challenging so yeah and i tasted my first failure in this field itself so i had never failed so last year i failed for the first time where it come to it came to me as a shock but yeah it was good that i failed i feel that you realize the importance of the papers and it helped me improve myself so yeah and failure is normal part of this field i mean i tasted it very late but even if you fail initially that's not a problem you just need to you know focus on the improvements that you need to make how many attempts do you get at these papers you can attempt as many times as you want that's not a limit but yeah you will lag behind if you you know take 10 15 attempts initially okay. so there are no limitations on the attempts it's just that you need to apply as many times as you want so how long does it take to clear all the papers so if you consider someone clearing all the papers in first attempt maybe 4 years 5 years it's up to you so normally exams happen every 6 months you can from india you can give maximum of 3 papers at in one attempt and that is also quite challenging because clearing one paper in one attempt is way too difficult along with the job so yeah you can clear 3 papers in an attempt and there are 13 papers so around 3 to 4 years normally you take if you clear everything in first attempt 
बट इफ नॉट दैट देन आई थिंक सिक्स टू सेवन टू एट ईयर्स एवरी वन कम्प्लीट इट एक्सेप्ट फॉर द लास्ट पेपर दैट इज समथिंग विच यू कैन इवन रिटायर एंड यू मे नॉट हैव क्लियर द लास्ट पेपर इज इट दैट डिफिकल्ट सो If you talk about life insurance, yes. So in, since the last two three attempts, I have been tracking that because I'm going to appear for it. Six to seven people out of hundred clear. Only hundred people appear, and six to seven or two or three people clear these exams. So you need to have an overall idea of what actually is in the life insurance industry. You need to gain overall knowledge. You need to apply that. Those are quite difficult papers. and it is not that someone who is appearing is a layman or who is not good at studies that guy has completed 12 papers which are already difficult already into the industry since 10 to 12 years they are also appearing these papers so it is quite difficult but yeah if you want to do it you can i mean right. it's quite challenging so like how would you say is your family supporting you like throughout your whole studying process and the struggles that you are going through so that their support is the most important ones these times since i have a background of cas they wanted me to do ca as well so i have done ca as well but since they know the struggle each and every one faces so i have a elder sibling his wife my father my mother as well so my mother is a homemaker and rest all are doing jobs or into a practice or so so they have gone through this difficult phase so they really know what a failure is once you fail what you feel so their support was the maximum during these times and yeah i have a very good family support to study and there is no financial pressure that you have to earn or so so, so that is the most relief i have right now to you know pursue this this actual career so like your whole family is like almost everyone yeah. yeah almost everyone in your family is a ca so i would say the field of ca is very popular right. and but actually isn't that popular right. what is the reason behind this so i feel that insurance sector as of now if you see someone taking insurance policies they normally take it for tax benefit that is what i have seen uh, at least in my known in those people whom i know so people are not that much into you know buying insurance as a cover for themselves for future and just not the insurance sector but actually do work elsewhere i mean the investment side the health insurance side so nowadays that has picked up to another extent and after covid 19 if you see there are we have lost a lot many people here so now people has realized even the importance of this field so it is developing Yeah. right now so yeah nowadays people are more aware because even in the, globally actuaries are being recognized there are a lot of actuaries outside india so right now actuaries are just 500 if you say in india mm-hmm. qualified actuaries as of march are approximately around 500 so nowadays people are you know those who are actuaries are spreading this that nowadays the global environment is also changing to that extent the risk people are facing are also coming up dynamic risks are being faced new new situations coming up so i guess now that has come to boost um what would you say like in the coming 5 years how much will this field grow so i think our finance minister also had said this in one of her interviews or so that there there is a huge demand for actuaries right now and we have only 500 of them so i feel there would be a good demand for actuaries even after 5 years that has started to show right now the job opportunities coming up right now are so so many i mean when i started in, for looking for internships 2 years ago it was not that much i mean i had to struggle to get into an industry into life insurance industry you can get into only through contacts i mean you need to have good contacts so nowadays the job offers are coming to you we need to go to job offers 2 years ago now they are coming directly at you so i mean the demand is going to go up a lot in the near future as well right so like there are only 500 actuaries in india right approximately i mean the number is still less around 490 or so okay as of march okay. yeah so obviously they get paid you know a lot just one more question that you know popped up in my head um what is the most interesting part about this job so i have worked elsewhere before starting into actuaries so i th- i used to work on excel which is normally everyone has to do 
so once i started working in this field normally in a ca background or so where you work you get 100 numbers 1000 numbers at max on the very first day of my job i got a spreadsheet full of lakhs of numbers and i had to crunch them number crunching was one of the things which you require to do actuaries you need to you know apply your brains how you will use this data how you will analyze so this was the only thing which interests me more that you know you have to think out of the box you get a lot of data but you need to make sure that that data make adds up to something that adds value to you know your analysis or so so the most challenging part or the most interesting part is that you get to think a lot you have to think and you have to think and there is no nothing such as you need to you know you have to mug up something or you don't remember it is just a concept that you have understood and just apply your knowledge apply your knowledge find out different ways various techniques you know do your work uh, that's it which i did not which interests me more i feel okay so it is very different than you know normal fields like yeah. in normal fields you usually get uh, a textbook yeah. or information that you have to mug up and write yeah. the papers but yeah. i feel in this field they are making sure that you are also learning the concept but uh, also you are you know getting the practical knowledge of it right. so that's why you have to complete half of the papers you know right. and then half of the papers you have to do the job and complete right. so you are actually getting that practical knowledge yes right. so yeah that is one of the most i can say important things because right now if you just study and study and you do not have practical knowledge that's of no use so even the exams uh, conducted here few of the exams are theory based i mean you write the concepts you understand you apply your concepts and then you have to do it practically so there are two exams in one of the in few papers where you give a theory answer or you give your answers based on the application of your knowledge then you have to use excel to you know again solve the questions so how good you are at excel how good you are at uh, actual software so they test you on that as well so they make you ready for you know the job at least the basics you get to know i know there has to be application of regulations and everything but that comes at a later stage where you have worked a lot those regulations get in you get hang of those regulations so it doesn't come to you that you have to mug up so much things you just work you get hang of those things and then you appear for papers so it doesn't come to you as a pressure Right. you have to remember these things so if you are working you are working you obviously get hang of these things mm -hmm. so there is no special you know mugging up things or so so yeah that is one of the most Im interesting things about this field i feel right so right. it's like while working itself you are actually like getting the knowledge that you right. have to write in the papers right right, right. 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 okay right. so the last question that i would like to ask you is what advice would you like to give to people who are looking to get into this field basically so i would like to say that get into this field if you are interested about this field and just not because of the 1 crore salary which everyone is talking about so this field is great it is mm -hmm. quite challenging and it will help you grow a lot if you are interested in mathematics statistics you are interested into analytical thinking you can think in you can think a lot of scenarios you can you know think out of the box and if this field interests you then only get into this field i mean that it is a quite a good field to get into to make your career but just don't get don't get into it just for the money part i mean you can make money doing whatever you like so if you like what you do then it's good for you you know so i feel you should get into this field it is quite interesting just next time yeah. So guys if you're into numbers and you like thinking a lot then this is a field that you should you know at least think about and if you have any kind of questions or queries make sure to leave them in the comment section below we'll get back to you very soon with new podcast until then keep learning and keep growing with let's do